Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well, we've got a little blurb hover effect for you today. What we've got here is three regular blurb modules. When you hover over them, the image, the title and the content are all going to change to something different. So we've got a different image, we've got a different title and we've got different content there. So you can sort of get double bubble with this. You've got two blurbs in one really there. And that's great for showing off different images with different captions underneath or different services. Really easy to do. There's no coding involved in this today. We're using all the inbuilt features of the Divi theme itself. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is enable the Visual Builder. And let's go down and I'll get rid of one of these. Let's get rid of the middle one. And we'll start from scratch. I'm going to add a blurb module. Divi comes as standard with all light gray modules here and there's plenty enough to build just about any site. I'm using the fantastic blurb module today. Now put in whatever your title, your first title wants to go in here. Put in whatever you, content you want below. I'm actually going to cut some of this. Control X to cut. I really only want about that much in there. Image and icon. I'm going to use an image. This will work just as well for an icon though if you want to use that too. So let's select our image. And this is the initial image we'll see. If you want to link your module to somewhere, hit the link below. I'm not going to link mine today because I've got call to action buttons that we've done in another video for my links today. But if you do, put your link in here for your title or if you want the whole module, put your link in there. Best practice as always, if you're linking to your own site, leave it in the same window. If you're linking off site to somebody else's site, open it in a new tab so your site stays open. OK, well, I'm not going to put any background in. I'm happy with the white background. So let's move on to our design tab. And the only thing I really want to do here, I'm not spending too much time on it, is pop everything into the middle. So I'm going to go to the text and I'm going to pop everything into the middle here. OK, let's just save this and put it where it's supposed to be, which is above that button instead of below it. So I'm simply going to drag it up. There we go. And let's go back in and let's do our little swap okay so that's our first title and for the second title we'll put in a different image and a different title and to put in your second one common to most Divi modules if you hover over the dark writing there you'll see some icons pop up with the title hover over it hit the little arrow and you've got a desktop state when your mouse is not on it and that's when we'll have it saying that and a hover state and let's have it saying something completely different cloud city and I can use that cloud city picture and down below we want to do the same thing with the body content too so again I'm going to hover over get the hover state up and I'm going to paste in the content that I cut from the first bit obviously you can put in whatever you want and that's a little too much for me so let's put a full stop there that's plenty so desktop or rather hover state it's going to say that if we flip to desktop it's going to stay that say that and the title is going to change to cloud city and desktop my first title there great so the only other thing we need to do is swap out that image now so let's roll on down to image and icon here's the image and again, roll over the dark writing that says image. The little arrow will appear. Click on it. There's our desktop state with our regular picture that we want to see. And the hover state, we can put a completely different image in there. Let's just click on it. And we call it Cloud City. So let's use that little Cloud City picture. And there we go. We're all done. So let's save this. We'll save our changes. Save draft or publish if you're ready. and exit the Visual Builder. 
And there we go. There's the first one that we did, as you can see. Sort of daytime city, nighttime city, contents change. And the next one that we've just done is my first title to Cloud City and the contents changing as well as the image back down there. Like I say, you're getting sort of double the blurb for your money by doing this, which is great because you're getting two taking up the real estate of one. And that's a nice little effect to have on your site. If people are mousing around and that sort of happens, it's going to get their attention pretty quickly. So there we go. That is how to create a blurb module with changing images and text on Hover. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.